Good evening. My name is Kiana. And this is Andrew. And welcome to the Soul, Soul Journey, Journey Project. Project. Here at the Soul Journey Project, we provide education, inspiration, and motivation on your journey through life. Yes, welcome once again to another excursion of the Soul Journey Project. Yes. As always, we are so thankful that you can join us today. Mm -hmm. um, Today we're going to do something a little different than we've done in past videos. Mm -hmm. So our last four videos, or four or five videos, we've been talking about uh, what we've called the divisions of mind. Mm -hmm. um, and so we realized that over four or five videos, it can kind of get a little maybe confusing or just hard to put it all together. So today we're going to put it all together for you. Uh, we have a diagram that we are going to share. Uh, and we're going to talk through um, basically a, a summary of everything that we've discussed over the last four videos in one nice, uh, clear, concise way. Uh, and also add a few elements that we didn't get a chance to talk about in the previous videos. Mm -hmm. So why don't we uh, just cut to that right now? Sounds good. All right. So what you see on the screen mm -hmm. is a diagram. Now, full disclosure. Uh, Kiana and I did not create this uh, by ourselves. Uh, we did borrow this from Bob Proctor. Mm -hmm. um, you can check him out on YouTube if you so choose. Uh, but he uses this diagram quite frequently uh, in a lot of his presentations. Uh, we thought it was so good that we wanted to uh, present it to you today uh, because we think it gives a nice, clear understanding of how the conscious mind, subconscious mind, superconscious mind, how it all plays together. Mm -hmm. So we'll start actually at the bottom left hand corner, excuse me, the bottom, yes, bottom left hand corner of the screen. It says we are three part beings, okay? We are spirit, soul, and body, okay? So our spirit is equivalent to our subconscious mind or the heart. The soul is our higher faculties of mind, mm -hmm. all right? And we'll talk about those here in a moment. And then we have the body the physical body mm -hmm. and the physical body ultimately is the instrument or the vehicle of the mind. Yeah. Is that a good way to put that? Yeah. Yeah. It's how we interact with this physical world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the body cannot act without the mind's permission. Your arm doesn't just, you know, start moving without your mind telling it to first. Mm -hmm. So we have higher faculties and we have lower faculties mm -hmm. and when I say lower faculties that's not diminishing them in any way um, but just in terms of how we are to understand them mm -hmm. we have higher faculties and we have lower faculties right our higher faculties are the six listed there on the left top left mm -hmm. our will our reason which is our thinking capacity mm -hmm. perception imagination intuition and memory, yeah. okay? Those are our higher faculties, which make up the soul. And our lower faculties are the senses. So it's what we see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. It's what we can physically interact with. Exactly. And I think something that we, sometimes we can be out of balance with some of these as well. We can rely too heavily on the lower faculties and not be as connected to some of the higher ones or vice versa. Yeah. You know, be so into, maybe so into our heads that we can't really interact with people. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So in the main diagram, we have the C and the SC. So the C represents the conscious mind, mm -hmm. the SC, the subconscious mind. Yeah. Okay. And we spent time diving into both of those in previous videos mm -hmm. all right so the higher faculties can interpret information and help us understand and and comprehend what information the lower faculties are giving us mm -hmm. really if you really want to be real about it okay the higher faculties are the ones that are really supposed to be running the show sure and the lower faculties are supposed to help us have a higher uh, experience, a, a more full experience of the mm -hmm. physical world around us. Mm -hmm. But what we have allowed 
is for the lower faculties to be running the show. Mm -hmm. And we only use a portion of our higher faculties. Right, right. And in fact, they're, they're used in a much diminished capacity mm -hmm. because they're not given the right priority. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's good. So this is detrimental to us because as you see in the diagram, you have the two big arrows going from the conscious to the subconscious. The information that comes in to the conscious mind from the outside world and from other sources, from mm. other people, from television, from social media, from all these outside sources, we gather information through our eye gates, our ear gates, right? Through our physical senses. The higher faculties are supposed to be able to sift through that information, right? Accept or reject ideas, mm -hmm. and then impress those ideas on our subconscious mind, mm -hmm. which remember in previous videos, we've identified that as like um, soil, mm -hmm. right? Because we're gardens. And so our subconscious mind is the soil in which we sow seeds. Yeah. The seeds are the ideas. Yep, and the subconscious mind has to receive whatever the conscious mind gives it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So our subconscious mind, as we called it, is the heart. Mm -hmm. So we're using these interchangeable terms because depending on your background, depending on you know, your, your spiritual background, your spiritual community, um, you know, what books you've read and so on, Different terms may resonate better with you. Trust your heart. Right. Follow yeah. your heart. That right. Kind of, yeah. Right. And as we mentioned, um, you know, we come from more of a Christian background. Um, so, you know, this concept of the heart is very prevalent in uh, Christian scriptures. Right. It, it's God judges man based on his heart. God will speak to your heart. Whatsoever man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Right. Uh, Jesus lives in your heart. Mm hmm. The heart is the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. all right? This is where you have your direct connection to, to God, universal spirit, the super conscious mind, source, source, and, et cetera. and so on. Mm -hmm. It's the, and, and there, there's a two way street there between infinite intelligence and your heart and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Those two speak to one another. Mm -hmm. And to continue to explain the diagram as well. So again, we have the conscious mind impressing ideas, beliefs, assumptions onto the subconscious mind. And whatever is impressed repeatedly and with strong feeling develops into a paradigm. Yes. So that's what the P stand for is a paradigm. So your way of thinking, those things, those concepts you have about yourself that have been ingrained. I know someone had told me today, I can't forgive myself. Mm -hmm. You know, those are that's a paradigm that someone has that has been very deeply ingrained based on their experiences from those repeated thoughts, beliefs, experiences. Yeah, a paradigm is a collection yeah. of beliefs mm -hmm. and ideas, mm -hmm. right? That frame a filter. Yeah. Right? So now information that you gather, you filter it through your paradigm or your worldview. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls this a stronghold sure. right so you may be familiar with the idea of the tearing down of strongholds that's the breaking down of old belief patterns mm -hmm. or paradigms that no longer serve you right right okay so how does the whole deal work together mm -hmm. so as i mentioned before as we've mentioned before the higher faculties are really the ones that are supposed to be running the show right but unfortunately, we have allowed our lower faculties to lead us. Mm -hmm. We judge things based off of what's going on around us mm -hmm. versus taking dominion over those things and us then determining what we want to see versus talking about what, what is seen. Mm -hmm. With our higher faculties, with our imagination, with our perception, with our intuition, we can know things, we can see things, we can understand things, that our five lower senses maybe can't pick up. Yep. With your imaginative faculty, you can see something that's not there and it'd be just as real to you mm -hmm. as if it was there. Mm -hmm. It's this imaginative faculty that is the reason for all creative things, right? This computer that we're using, right. the, the, the cell phone in your hand or in your pocket. Mm -hmm. 
that was in someone's imagination first before it became a physical reality. Right. Every invention, everything that we see, everything that you use, the grill, you know, the stove, the, you know, bed, yeah. mattress, you Microwaves. know, I mean, every single thing you can think of is watch, you know, all of that was an idea and it started in mind yep. and then it transitioned into the physical reality yep. and that's how it works. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if these inventors mm -hmm. would have only based their ideas off of what they could see, hear, taste, touch, or smell, mm -hmm. they would have never taken that step to create something that wasn't there, that wasn't presented to their five physical senses. They would have gotten discouraged because look, well, this doesn't work. Right. This isn't functioning how I feel like it should. So, well, I guess it's never gonna work. And that's where many, that's where many of us stop. Again, if we're if our if there's an imbalance with our higher and lower faculties, we allow those things that we can see to dictate what's possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So these higher faculties, they have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. They have to be used. They have to be exercised. Yes. If you want to see the results uh, that they can that they can provide mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. These six, these six higher faculties are, should be our filters prior to us impressing ideas onto our subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that you desire in your life, right? We've used examples like losing weight or creating a healthier lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, more money, uh, a different career path, more fulfillment, yeah. um, whatever. You have to exercise your higher faculties. You have to cleanse them. They have to be saved. See, again, going back to the, the Christian, the Christian theology for just a second. You know, we have this notion of salvation. Mm -hmm. Well, what is it that needs to be saved? The soul. Right. The soul needs to be saved. The heart. Right. When 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 you are so-called born again. It's the heart that is immediately transformed, mm -hmm. right? It's the heart that's in direct connection with the universal spirit, with God, with the Holy Ghost, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But your mind, your, your soul has to be renewed. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You're purging all of that old information, that old way of thinking, so that you can take on this newness, this truth. The truth is that you are well. Yeah. You are healthy, not that you're sick. Right. Regardless of what you're seeing. Right. Right. So how does this work? You can't remove a paradigm that's already there mm -hmm. per se. What you can do is impress a new thought that overrules or supersedes the old thought. Right. So if you currently have a concept of yourself that you are sick, you have to now implant a new paradigm that says, I am well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let the sick say, I am well. Let the poor say, I am rich. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you now have to counteract yep. the old way of thinking with the new way of thinking. Mm -hmm. So anytime you have the thought of, I am sick, immediately checking that, nope, I am well, I am strong, I am healed, I am whole. You have to repeat that to yourself and saying it out loud can be helpful too because sometimes when, we're, when you're talking, it cuts off the thinking mm -hmm. side of things and helps you just focus on what you're saying so that you can really feel that with passion, which is how that impresses on the subconscious mind. Exactly, exactly. So when an, when an, when an idea comes in now that's contrary to the new way of thinking you are trying to create, mm -hmm. right? you can now counteract that with a new thought, with a new idea. You can now use your perception. You can use your imagination. You can see yourself well. Mm -hmm. You can see yourself in a different financial situation. Mm -hmm. You can see yourself in a better job or in your own business. Mm -hmm. And you're doing this already, but maybe not in the way that you would like it to be. Right. Because many times, like let's say you, you just start sneezing or you start coughing. Immediately, you may get an image in your mind of you laying on the couch, tissues all over, not going to work, red mm -hmm. nose, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you, you get that image already. And if you don't reject 
that image, then that's what that's what ends up happening. Right. And you feel those feelings and get, you know, get all into that. But what you have to do is if you have that cough, I am well, I am healed. And you see yourself going to work, doing your normal things, and because that implies that you're healed and that you're well. Yep. So we're doing this all the time, but we just want to refine it so that we're more conscious of what we're doing. Exactly. Exactly. So it's the soul, mm -hmm. the soul journey project. Yes. It's the soul that we want to help renew mm -hmm. because it's the soul's responsibility to dress and keep, to take care of this garden that we have been, that we have been given charge over. Mm -hmm. All right. And the garden is your subconscious mind. Right. It's the raw potential. It's the formless substance that we can impress our desires upon so whether you're in faith or you're in fear it works the same exact way mm -hmm. because now you're impressing upon your subconscious mind an idea with feeling right whether the feeling is fear mm -hmm. or the feeling is confidence the same you're gonna you're doing the same thing mm -hmm. just the reverse mm -hmm. you're doing it in the negative so to going back to our previous video, when we talked about the super conscious mind and how you have the power to direct mm -hmm. this energy, whether in a positive direction or in a negative direction, but either way it's going to produce. Mm -hmm. So we hope that this diagram has been helpful to you to help you understand mm -hmm. um, more fully, sometimes an image can do it a lot better than just us, us talking at you. Right. Um, it's the soul. Remember, this is the soul journey project. Mm -hmm. It's the soul that we want to awaken, that we want to help renew. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the soul that has to perceive and to see something new. Right. And when the soul starts to operate correctly, when it's rightly dividing, the types of ideas that you should be accepting and rejecting. Mm -hmm. You can then impress those new ideas upon your subconscious, upon your heart. Mm -hmm. For out of your heart flow the issues of life. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You have the power, you have the authority, you have the dominion over your garden, over right. your earth. You can create whatsoever you desire consciously mm -hmm. if you understand what we are sharing. See, we, as Kiana just said, we've been doing this, yep. but we've been unconsciously doing it right? without the awareness. Mm -hmm. We've just been, you know, reacting mm -hmm. and we're still creating our reality either way, but we've been doing it haphazardly, yeah. not understanding how the mechanisms work. Well, now we are shining the light. Yep, exposing. We're exposing the truth on how this works. Mm -hmm. So now you with understanding mm -hmm. can start to operate these principles and these ideas and direct the energy where you want it to go. Mm -hmm. Now you're no longer a victim of your circumstance, right? but you are a creator of your circumstance. Yes, and that's awesome. It's awesome. When you really start doing this and seeing the results, you're like, oh, did I just create that? Yeah. You know, and you did. And it's so exciting. We have tons of stories and examples personally, and it's so exciting. And it's just very empowering. And you can take back your life. You can take it back. I One, one thing I hate is when I hear people say, oh, I'm living the dream. But they really mean I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> right? But no, you can live your dream. Yeah. And that can be real. And this is how you do it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to cut back over to the other screen. Um, if you're interested, if you want a copy of this particular document, let us know in the comments uh, and we will try to make it available to you. You can uh, send us an email. We'll include our email in the description and you can send us an email and then we will email that to you.
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted your own copy of this, uh, we'd be glad to share it with you Mm -hmm. if you wanted to jot down some notes. But we are so happy we can share it. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, Mm -hmm. checking out that uh, diagram. Again, we're just so thankful that uh, you all can all join us today on the Soul Journey Project. Yeah. Keanu, I want to tell them how they can connect with us uh, beyond this video. Yes. So we are on Facebook and Instagram at Soul Journey Project. We also have our email included in the description if you had something personal, a question that you want to ask, or if you wanted to receive a copy of that handout. And um, we ask that you please subscribe, and that's how you can be updated as soon as we post a video. Yes, and leave a comment. Please yes. leave comments. Please yes. leave comments. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Did you say that? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another reminder. Repetition is the key. That's what we're saying, yeah, right? That's how you get it key. in your subconscious mind. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> repetition is the key. Uh, yeah. So again, thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate you. We do. And we encourage you to take Take the the step. step.